Senpai, what's going on? Minami, someone's trashed our room again. Also, watch this. I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. Watch what exactly? Shh, stand over here, quietly. Watch the laundry basket. <laughs> Did you see that, Minami? Crap, this is bad. You know what I think this is? Mm. It's a spy camera from a peeping Tom. <sighs> it's the same creep that trashed this room. He must have set this up. Actually, this is... Uh, this is mine. Yours? Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's an alarm clock. A clock? <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information. So you just carry it around? Yeah, well, the thing is, I can't seem to tell time unless I look at this clock. Isn't it kind of big? Hmm? You're going home dressed like that? Uh, yeah, I'm just in a hurry, so... Okay, we're here. Activate gate. Sentinel search range. Where should we look this time? How about sector one? Sector one has been no sentinel. I see. What about Sector 2? 2065. We have been there. That's where we saw the tripods. It's too dangerous. What's that one at the bottom? Sector 5. 1945. Whoa. So we can travel to the past, too? Hey, that's the year the Pacific War ended. Let's check it out. Access code approved. Designating sector. No way! How cool is this? This building is all old and musty in my time. But it smells like fresh wood. They must have just built the place. This all feels like a dream. Check it out, BJ. It's my school in the past. You really can drift back and forth through time, can't you? Yes, you know. I know, I know. We have to be careful not to change anything in the past, or else we'll totally screw up the future.
If we're 40 years in the path, then Dad's only three years old. He's probably at Grandma's house. I'd love to see that. A quick peek wouldn't hurt, would it? There's something old enough to know. Man, okay. So, is the Sentinel here? I have detected a drone signal. An active Sentinel is present. This is my classroom. The sign looks a little different, though. Someone's here. We've got to hide. Hmm. Goto-san. Right on time. <gasps> Here's your pill supply for the month. Are these the same ones I had last month? Why do you ask? Please, just be honest with me. The pills you've been giving me, they let me see the future. But these new pills are different. I feel awful when I take them. And they make me forget what I've seen in my dreams. You must continue your treatment. They'll completely eliminate your nightmares. Nightmares? These don't feel like... Trust me. They'll help you revert to your original state. We're putting an end to this operation. Goto-san, please wait! I can't forget. It's our only hope of survival. It's no use. I can't remember. The weapon at Ayame Pass. No. I can't remember anything. Was that Goto-senpai? How's that even possible? How could he be here? Forty years in the past. Maybe it was his grandpa. Looked just like him. A sentinel at Ayame Pass. Huh? All oh, right, a Yame Pass. Wait, you mean where the park is? There is no park in 17. Correct. We're searching for Sentinel number 17. Number 19 belong to a comrade. I cannot pilot his Sentinel. What happened to him? I have confirmed a cease in his vital functions. Do you mean... he's... here did something to it. That would be impossible with the technology of this era. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 0800. <gasps> Someone's coming! I don't 
don't understand. Why is Professor Doji suspending operations? I know the Sentinel like the back of my hand. And I have no problem taking it to the front lines. Even there, I can perform at full power. So, why... All right, enough. I'm starting to sound like Takatoshi-san. Nothing to get riled up over. I'm sure the people in charge have their reasons. Once the order comes, I'll be ready to lay down my life. And even if it never does, I'll still be ready. He's gonna fight too? Dang! Now someone's coming from the other way! Jeez! It's been a while, number 19. Let's have a look at you. Huh. Well, it looks like an alternate route was successfully created. It actually worked. And on my second test subject, no less. Impressive, Keitaro Miura. Nanomachine reconstruction agitates the brain. But you endured the process without losing your mind. With this data, I'll be able to take over the Sentinels. Goodness, I should be on my way. Professor Doji's security detail will return any moment. As promised, I'll remove the lock on the Sentinel. And there's one more thing I'd like to do. Just for good measure. There we go. As long as they come into contact with Miyorakun, the data should spread to the others. Who was that guy? They should leave. Let's hurry. Yeah, you're right. We're here, BJ. Someone's coming! Quick, hide! I'm pleased the data is complete. I suppose negotiating with the professor was the right choice. Huh. The settings have been tampered with. Was someone just here? It seems this gate has been compromised as well. I'll set it back to its original key. I'd best take my leave. Just use the gate? Is he an alien too? He changed the key. I can no longer shift. Seriously? We can't go home? Analysis will be complete in 78 hours and 24 minutes. I can't stay here that long. Can't we find another way back to the future? The gate and the Sentinel are the only safe methods of shifting. The Sentinel? What was that just now? Someone else is coming. It came from around here, I think. Don't 
Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Shihiro's probably worried about me. State your name. I know you're there. Priest! Who are you? Yes. Takatoshi-san. A brand new schoolhouse with all its luxuries. And not a single student attending. They need every able-bodied student at the factories. I know, we're in a state of emergency. Just a shame that it's come to this, I suppose. I heard a rumor from the Marines at the port. They say we have no ships left. That it's a hopeless war. He's a year above me, but we're the same age. We grew up in the same town together. He was such a mess. Seems like he's shaped up, though. He's found a certain dignity ever since he enlisted. What's wrong, Keitaro? You resent being drafted? No. Just, of all people, why'd they choose me? Don't let your nerves get to you again. You'll get to fight for your country before your peers. That's an honor and a privilege. You don't have to worry anyway. 
One look at it, and you'll know this war is ours. At what exactly? I can't say too much out here, but we have a secret weapon. Our own key to victory. You'll see it in the armory soon enough. <laughs> but we're just students. Why do we have access to something so secret? Because we've been chosen as pilot cadets for that very weapon. But keep it quiet. Maximum level security. Not even your family can know. Understood. A secret weapon powerful enough to win the war. And out of all the potential pilots across Japan, they chose me. What can I do? Will I be any help at all? So what is this new weapon? We've been calling it a Sentinel. A heavily armored craft that requires a pilot to operate. It'll help us gun down the enemy at our shores. So the Americans really are coming for us. We've been forced to abandon many of our posts overseas. At this rate, we'll have to end this on the mainland. Our homeland's future is in the hands of this Sentinel. But they're good hands. A single Sentinel rivals aircraft carriers in terms of power. No, it could outmatch an entire military on its own. Whatever they've got will keep our homeland safe. And one day, we'll take the fight to American soil. <laughs> I didn't think anyone else would come here. I'll see who it is. Tamao-san. So this is where you've been hiding. Takatoshi-san. Goodness, look at you. Such a gentleman now. Hey, Tamao-san. What brings you here? I had to see Keitaro son off. And when I heard you were back too, I had to come. I wanted to give you this. I made some ohagi for you. Maybe you and Takatoshi san can share them. Well, I am partial to ohagi. The rations don't give us that much sugar. I'm afraid they won't be very sweet. I'm sure they'll be delicious. Thank you. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, I invited her along. Pardon me, but have we met? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. It's fine. You really don't have to introduce me. But he's asking about you, Kiriko-chan. Oh. I'm Kiriko-doji, sirs. Uh, I'm... Uh... Uh, I'm, uh, Takatoshi Hijiyama. Pleased to meet you. Wait, Doji? Any relation to Professor Heizo Doji? I'm his daughter. I hope that doesn't bother you. No, far from it. I just never imagined his daughter would be so... I've heard about Kiriko-san's father. They say he's a remarkable teacher. Though I didn't realize he was a professor. Professor Doji's here? If he's at the armory, that can only mean... That's enough, Keitaro. His involvement with the new weapon is highly confidential. <sighs> I mean... Damn it. <laughs> well, don't worry, we won't tell. You're pretty funny. Keitaro-san, do you know where you'll be stationed? He'll be working alongside me. The armory's not too far from here. However, it may be some time until he's back. Tamao-san, you and the Kurabes have been nothing but kind to me. I can only give you my thanks from the bottom of my heart. I'll have to leave my little sister with you, so please take care of her for me. Don't you worry about a thing, Keitaro-san. I'll take good care of Chihiro-chan. And tell her I won't be gone for long. The second I get time off, 
I'll come visit. Keitaro, it's almost time. They're expecting us. We'd better get going. I'll be back. Do take care, you two. I promise. I'll be back. What was that just now? Some kind of flash. Lightning, maybe. It came from around here, I think. Air raids have plagued several regions for months now. At this rate, the Americans will completely destroy Japan. We have to do something. Kiriko-san disappeared after that incident. And Professor Doji has gone silent ever since. It just doesn't make sense. Our new top-secret military weapon called a Sentinel. I've been selected as a cadet to pilot it. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Chihiro's probably worried about me. State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you? Uh, shouldn't you be wearing pants? Huh? Maybe wearing gym clothes wasn't the best idea. I don't know why you're here, but... It's dangerous to be out this late on your own. Allow me to escort you home. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. I'm stationed at the armory nearby. But I'm off duty now. So I was on my way home. So, uh, what's your name? Natsuno. Um, Natsuno Minami. Which way to your place, Natsuno-san? Good question. Kind of a complicated answer, though. What's that sound? <laughs> What's going on? An air raid. They're trying to bomb the factory. But that's near where the Karabes live. Stay here. It should be safe at this distance. But what about you? I have to go help. Wait! Follow him! What? Seriously? Do I have to? Ugh. Fine. Whatever. If everything goes wrong, it's totally your fault. Chihiro! Hot, hot, hot! Hey, hold on a sec! Why did you follow me? I don't know! <sighs> Fine, but just stay there. It's clear here. But the flames are stronger up ahead. You're not going in, are you? I have to. That house up ahead is where my sister's staying. <coughs> this is horrible. How could they attack civilians like this? There's a munitions factory in Higuromocho. If they just level the entire neighborhood, 
They can't miss. But that's... This can't be happening. It's completely gone. It must have been a direct hit. Chihiro! Tomo-san! This belongs to Chihiro. Chihiro! Tomo-san! Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard, but she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth, not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. Tamao-san. Right here. <sighs> Kitaro-san. Tamao-san. It's all gone. I know, but you're alive, and that's what matters. We ran to the shelters as soon as we heard the sirens, but Chihiro-chan ran off alone. She said she was going back to the house. Because you were coming home, and if nobody was there to see you, you'd be really sad. Chihiro. <gasps> so they're all safe and sound. Uh... Not soon, son. <laughs> Everything on that side of the Kaede River is on fire. Looks like it's headed toward Kamazumi next. Big Brother! Why are they showing up in this era? I've always heard the U.S. had an industrial advantage over us. That thing has to be one of their weapons. They've finally come for our homeland. And if we don't stop them... <sighs> Tamao-san, please take care of Chihiro. Big Brother! Stay with her and do as you're told, understand? Tamao-san, can I ask you to look after Natsuno-san too? Huh? What about you? I'm going back to the armory. You stay with Tamao-san. She'll keep you safe. Now go. I'll show them that Japan can still fight. This is the day I've been training for. Against the Sentinel, they don't stand a chance. You hear all that? Yeah, you know. I know. I'm on it. Ugh! <gasps> 